Good morning. We're here today to announce our new sponsor and our new driver, and I couldn't be happier about it all. The only thing that would make me happier is if you'd go away. Napa is, is um, just continue to be the best sponsor that anybody could ever hope to have. They um, stuck with me through building this team and a lot of struggles, and uh, now they're seeing the performance of the teams really improve. And uh, you know, we wanted to try to take it to the next level and win a championship for them. They deserve it. They've been my sponsor for nine years. Uh, won won the Daytona 500 twice with them, and um, but mainly they've just overachieved for me. Uh, they've been there for me every step of the way. My dream was to build this team, and, and um, with their support, we were able to do that. This, this building, this, this facility, none of this would be here if it weren't for their commitment to us. And that's a, that's a very humbling um, thought. It's also very motivational for me. It makes me want to do everything in the whole world for them to ensure that we can get them wins and, and uh, put them where, the, where they belong, which is um, at the championship table. Hi, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> that was like yeah. Hi, Martin. How are you? Good to see you, sir. Michael. Hey, Michael. Hey, Bill. Well, been well. Yourself? Yeah, real good. good. You have an entourage? Day, huh? Yeah, the rest of them are looking over the future car over there, giving them some points on what it needs to look like. I'll show you my, my latest addition to my building a house. And uh, I had this little dog. No, I had this brilliant idea, and I, I still think it's brilliant. <laughs> Jim, hey, uh, Jerry, and this is DW. We're going over our uh, speech, and um, he's figuring out who all he's going to have to have and, to introduce. Uh, is Chad Ziegler. Ziegler. And so we thought that was pretty funny that they had that big foot and finger. So we took our picture. When'd you go? I went in the spring of '07. No. Oh. I went into one of those big, they got those hay bales, huge, big round jobs. And that old car hit that hay bale and knocked it for a loop. And it didn't hurt the car. <laughs> and, and the safety guys were all running out on the track telling me to stop. I cranked that bad boy up, drove on. Goodwood Festival of Speed. Now that I'm taking a more relaxed approach to my driving career, I'll go over there and try it out. <laughs> we came over here that day. And they hadn't painted, they hadn't done anything. They hadn't cleared out much of anything at that point. Thank you, Mr. Michael. She's from where you're from. There you go. Say thank you. Good to see Jimmy Johnson. It's opportunity. Aren't you not, don't y'all know we're happy? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? Tell us how you're for, feeling, Daddy. How am I feeling? I am feeling <laughs> retrospective. I'm feeling a little melancholy. I'm actually in a position where I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine as frog hair. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Bye, thank you. I will. I'll get him. Bye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to come through that roll-up door and see that guy oh, in the red shirt. Easy. That red shirt. <laughs> you're just going to fall right down this gray. In the middle of the child, blew up coming to the white and after it blew up they all crashed behind me yeah. so if it had just lived for another quarter of a mile yeah. I would have won with my team yeah. and like nobody really knows that yeah, no, I know. and it just that's one that I don't know I, that, that gets, I'm thinking that was, There's a lot, that was a lot. why didn't that motor run one more quarter of a mile I guess it wasn't supposed that answer, to you I guess it wasn't supposed to. Mind the wrap. To to think that for me to say I'm not going to drive because yeah. I really still feel like I can go win Chicago. You know, I still think I I can do the job, but um, it was going to take a pretty special guy to. to and, uh, it's just nice to let it get out there. What appealed to you most about him? There was a lot of things, you know. Uh, uh, I said earlier I was I was really able to kind of get an inside look. You know, my brother's been racing here. If you take take all the drivers out, take all the drivers out, we have to. If they see a three to one, they pay the driver. So what? What would that break down the actual time? Like I said earlier, go on Facebook and Twitter and be able to invite folks to come over to the shop. How cool is that? I mean, we're in a 
We're, we have unique opportunities. Uh, 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 it's awesome, man. I am pumped. Uh, really build on it. I feel better than I thought I'd ever like I do. I, I thought I'd think. I don't know how I thought I'd do, but I feel awesome. You ought to. And I feel good because I think that I think people will see that we're broken. You know, we have some fun. Wrap it up, baby. Uh, wow, that was cool, huh? Everybody seemed to really enjoy it and uh, thought it was well done. Hats off to Tracy and, and Jerry and Rick Wainwright, all the folks uh, that, that takes this wonderful care of our sponsors on a weekly basis. Um, they do a great job. If I've done anything pretty good, I've always um, let everyone know the significance of, of treating a sponsor as a partner, just being their friend, getting them, help them extract out of the sport uh, all that they can and um, so our folks do a great job of that and, and I'm proud because it's it's really a big big uh, part of my philosophy as a team owner is I thought that um, I could I maybe could treat sponsors better than they've ever been treated before that was my goal so uh, today was a success it's really really genuinely um, excited to have Martin as our driver Napa's on board for for a few more years uh, what a commitment from that company and and this just helps position us in the in the garage area as a um, as a team that you're going to have to contend with for, for a long time to come. And as an owner, um, that's that's gratifying and rewarding because uh, um, this ain't easy. This is a tough uh, tough sport to have success in, and we've had a taste of it, and it just makes us want that much more.